Near 4 p.m., the French sound a retreat. Over 400 of Napoleon's soldiers lay dead. The Allied troops suffered heavy casualties too. But they still held their ground. It always requires more men to take and capture such a position than it does to hold it. The British training was hold until relieved, and if you didn't get relieved, you died in your spot, but you didn't abandon it. During the assault on the walled chateau, the French artillery pounded the British front lines. The carnage from cannon fire was so great, Wellington ordered his troops to fall back behind the ridge overlooking the battle. It appeared to Ney that the British were retreating. What they were doing was just seeking some refuge behind the hill. So Ney was convinced that victory was his, destroy the fleeing British, and the day was theirs. Standard operating procedure at the time was, if the enemy's retreating, release your cavalry. Now, at approximately 4 p.m., Marshal Ney orders the French cavalry to assemble. In an incredible display of power, 12,000 French cavalrymen charged the British position. At 200 yards, canister shot from British guns tears into the French horsemen. British infantry is about to face one of the largest cavalry charges in history. But they have a defense in place. The British formed infantry squares, a formation designed specifically to defend against a cavalry attack. At 4 p.m., the squares are put to the ultimate test. The squares were perfect defense against cavalry. Lines and lines of bayonets hedgerows of bayonets, as they're described. An infantry square is based on simple animal psychology. A horse will not run into a row of pointed bayonets. Unable to break through the squares, Ney orders his cavalry to retreat, then orders them to charge again. Each time the cavalry fell back, the French cannons bombarded the British squares until the cavalry could charge again. Those squares became killing grounds for the French artillery. Good God. They slowly filled up with their own wounded and dead. Again and again, the French charge was repeated. And again and again, the British squares wavered, but held. The squares were steady and firm, and they held against all these waves of French assault. But they paid a terrible price for this enough that Wellington was looking for the back door. He knew his army had just about had it. Unable to break through the British squares, the French cavalry charge is called off. Both sides suffer massive casualties. I believe we have pushed them back, sir. No, Uxbridge. We're at the breaking point. We cannot take another charge. If we're to survive, either Knight or the Prussians must come. By five in the afternoon, the Battle of Waterloo is at a virtual stalemate. A massive charge by the French cavalry ordered by Michel Ney had left heavy casualties on both sides. Napoleon knew that Ney's move had been a near fatal blunder. Wellington is ready to crack your excellence. You can only attack to finish. 
Reste de la table. Mais avec quoi Vous avez détruit ma cavalerie. Vous avez détruit mon armée. Ney was the bravest of the brave. He was not necessarily the smartest of the smart. And he was not necessarily the sort of commander that you'd give that sort of operational control to. He was undoubtedly courageous. He had a very good eye for tactics. He had very little uh, insight strategically. Despite the setbacks, Napoleon still believes that victory can be his. There were some battles he had fought in the past where he was very close to losing, but he had snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. Napoleon still believes that the key to victory is to control the center of the battlefield. Yet again, he orders his troops to attack La Haye Saint. At approximately 6.15 p.m., they march toward the fortress. Earlier in the battle, the Allied riflemen had successfully held off the French infantry. But now, they had a problem. They were rapidly running out of ammunition. Wellington knew the importance of holding that. Unfortunately, they found it impossible to resupply them because of their forward position in the Allied lines. If Le Saint had fallen some two, three hours earlier, Wellington would have called it a day and, and pulled out. Within minutes, over 2,000 French soldiers overwhelmed the Allied stronghold. Defeat comes quickly for Wellington's men. They fought to the last round, until in the early evening, Bering had no choice but to abandon the position by running through the farmhouse and fighting their way through to their own lines on the ridge behind them. Out of the 400 men, 42 got out. That's a 90% casualty rate. But these brave Germans held the center of the battlefield for almost the entire day. This stalled Napoleon's all-out attack on Wellington's main lines on the ridge. But now, the French control La Haye Saint. We have lost the farmhouse, Uxbridge, and we are next. Send out riders to find Blucher. Tell him the battle is lost unless he arrives immediately. Immediately. As evening approaches, an army is sighted marching toward the battleground. Napoleon hopes that it is his returning French troops who had pursued the Prussians. Wellington hopes that the unidentified troops are the Prussians. The identity of the distant troops may well determine who is the victor at Waterloo. Bitte? What is it? Where is the Duke? Are you Prussian? Yeah, Herr Blücher has brought the army. Good fortune has just lent Wellington a hand. The Prussians arrived at the battle exactly where Wellington needed them. They advanced en masse. It's exactly what Wellington needed. For Napoleon, the news is devastating. But he decides to tell his men the approaching troops are French. Dites aux hommes que le maréchal Grouchy n'est plus loin et qu'il vient nous aider maintenant. Mais votre Altesse, ce n'est pas oui, possible. Oui, je sais, je sais. On ne peut pas nous permettre de faire laisser tomber le moral maintenant. De plus, nous avons toujours la garde. The old guard were the elite units of the French army. To even be considered as a member of the old guard, you had to be a veteran. They were the type of troop who would fight at the command every time. They would not retreat, they would not fall. 